Hello, my name is John, and I'm here to talk to you about the African tree frog. So how many of you remember the old Muppet, Kermit the Frog? <laughs> All right, so Kermit the Frog was a red-eyed tree frog, but unfortunately, that's not an African tree frog. So today, I'm here to inform you about the life of an African tree frog. Um, African tree frogs, also known as sedge or reed frogs, are actually very interesting amphibians that hardly anyone knows anything about. Before I started this, I knew nothing about an African tree frog. I didn't even know there was such a thing as an African tree frog. So today I'm going to inform you about the physical characteristics, their habitat, and their diet and reproduction methods. So, first off, uh, let's talk about their many different physical characteristics. Um, according to the online Encyclopedia of Animals, there's 637 different types of species of tree frogs. 220 of which are African tree frogs. So, since there's 220 different, it's hard for them to follow one set pattern of color and design. Um, but um, when they are born, they're born a certain color, and when they get out of their froglet stage, they actually change colors. So that's an interesting fact. Um, all African tree frogs are between actually half of an inch to about four and a half inches long. And um, they have protruding eyes, which means their eyes are actually on the outside of their skull. If you look at the picture, they, they're just bug eyed. And um, certain species of African tree frogs have no toe pads and longer hind legs. And so these frogs actually don't hop like a typical uh, frog. They actually run. So that's how they get their nickname, the running frog. And uh, males have vocal sacs which protrude from their throat. And there's a picture on the handout. And so now that we've talked about some of the interesting physical characteristics, let's move on and talk about where they live and what types of environment they live in. So um, African tree frogs can be found throughout central and southern Africa. There's a map on the handout. And they are also found on Madagascar, which is the island to the um, east of Africa. And then on the map, there's a tiny little dot right above Madagascar, and it's called Seychelles. And they also they also can be found there. And uh, going more into detail, um, African tree frogs can be found in grassy fields with brush. They can be found in mountains, rainforests, and even underground, even though they're called tree frogs. But they, these tree frogs didn't get their name tree frogs for no reason. Um, most of these species are arboreal, which means um, above ground, or which means basically they live in trees. Um, so now that we've discussed their habitat, let's move on and talk about their diet and reproduction methods. So African tree frogs eat a limited variety of food. Um, they are considered car carnivorous, um, and their main diet includes insects, worms, and small invertebrates. And African tree frogs have also been known to eat other small African tree frogs. Basically, anything that they can get in their mouth and swallow, they'll eat. Um, moving on, just talking about their reproductive um, methods. Um, they reproduce during the rainy season of Africa, which is between October and April. And uh, when a male is ready to reproduce, they will uh, find a body of water, such as a puddle or a pond or a lake, and they will make their mating call, which when they make their mating call, their vocal sac comes out. And um, it is said that you can hear a male mating call from a mile away. So that's crazy. But uh, <laughs> when, a, when a woman mates, um, they will go from male to male to male. Like they can have multiple males in one night. <laughs> so, um, and when they're ready to lay their eggs, uh, they, will find a, they will find a leaf or a branch above a, a pond of water, a body of water, so that when the tadpoles are ready to hatch, they will hatch and fall off the leaf of the branch into the body of water and develop in the water. And uh, any, any uh, like nest can be anywhere between 12 dozen and 200 eggs, so the African tree frog isn't going extinct anytime soon. <laughs> and now 
now that we've talked about the diamond reproduction method, let's move on and come to a party conclusion. So summing up, we've learned about the diversity of African tree frogs, their habitat, and also what they eat and how they mate. And I hope now that I was knew nothing about African tree frogs. I hope now you guys know a little bit about African tree frogs and find them as just as interesting as I do. That's it.